Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Okay, what I got today is we are going to be fertilizing all the plants in the yard. We got the fruit trees, we got a lot of vegetables, tomatoes, um, peppers, um, everything you see here. So what I've made here is, this is a called a compost tea or a, um, some people call it um, worm castings tea um, it, it's very popular um, you can do different mixes this one has actually about 10 or 15 different additives to it to make it you know more potent and I'm doing this probably about two every um, probably once a month maybe more now because it's going to be everything's really taking off it's you know later in the, in the spring and um, I'm getting a lot of flowers on my tomatoes, my peppers. So this tea has a little higher phosphorus content. Um, you know, the, the different fertilizers that um, put the help with the blooms. So if I just had worm castings, um, that has a little bit of the phosphorus, but only a small amount. And you would it would be it would do all right. It would do fine, but you wouldn't really get. Uh, what I'm going to be getting here with with the harvest. So um, after I'm going to keep the stir because there's chunks, or a lot of chunks on the bottom, and it's kind of messy. Um, but you want to stir this so you, you're not getting just a lot of water because at the if you do this just from the top, you'll get a lot of uh, water down stuff in the beginning, and then at the end it'll be really thick. So I should have rolled my sleeve up, but I'm not. Okay, so. I'm going to take one scoop and put it on this tree here. I'm just going to just go around, circle. Okay, at the end, I like to get rid of that stuff and put it right around the tree because that's kind of like a, well, keep bugs away too because this tea is full of um, fungus, bacteria, but good, good bacteria. And that will actually... Um, fight off the bad bacteria and eat, and insects will, won't want to be around. You know, the bad insects and the bad bacteria will be outnumbered because this this tea is full of all types of bacteria and fungus that the soil loves, and it creates a symbiotic relationship with uh, your plants. Um, so we got a lot of different trees here. Let's go ahead. We're gonna feed this plant. This has um, peppers in here with an actual a lemon tree in the middle. You see, this is a lemon, and behind it is a bunch of uh, actual cucumbers. You see them run up here. So this is a big plant. I'm gonna give them a good amount. I'm gonna dump that. As I dump about half of it, I'm going to swirl it. That keeps it so I can dump it out easier. Watch. Otherwise, you get a lot of stuff stuck in your cup. Okay, so I'm keeping track of how much I'm giving them. This is a uh, 1,000 milliliters, 32 ounce. So, so far, I'll just fill up a cup. And remember, stir the bottom so you're not getting just a bunch of... You want to get a mixture of all the heavy stuff so originally I had a big tea bag it was like a a giant tea bag and then when you're when you're you're you know I'll go into more detail of how we make this but on another video but it's originally in a big sock and it's that's to keep the uh, to keep it from clogging up the um, air bubblers um, so to make a long story short it has a lot of chunks in there, so we have to evenly disperse that. Okay, now let's go back to our trees. Okay, this one's the apricot. Let's give them about half of this for now. Half of this one, half on that one. Oh, that one got a lot of thick stuff. See all that? So I want to go back and give that one a little more kind of a waterish, watery stuff that's on top. Um, because now this one got more kind of a watered down mix. Okay, let's go back. 
you kind of want to keep track of how much you give each one. So let's go a dash more on this one. A dash more. These aren't huge. You know, these aren't huge yet. We don't want to overdo it. We can always come back for now. I just want to make sure I get everything covered. The most important ones. Now, okay, we got an avocado tree over here. All right, this is avocado. Let's just finish this one off. Okay. So, now, in between, I'm going to do this probably, I think I said once a month. Here's my tomato. It's going to be hard to pour in there. This is the problem. No. You have to kind of aim it just right sometimes. Um, so, so, in between when I'm fertilizing and doing this, I'm going to be doing just pure purified water that I use through my three-step purification system um, that's in my house.